Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Beasts of the Mesozoic Raptor series, 1 6th scale Western set. Now, last time we did the Eastern set, which had the Microraptor and the Mononychus, and this time we're going to be doing the Western set, which features quote unquote raptors from the Western Hemisphere. Of course, the Eastern set had the Eastern Hemisphere. And today we've got the Buitraraptor G and the young Stenonychosaurus I. So if we look at the box here, we can see this beautiful artwork by Shannon Beaumont. And if we open up the box, which hopefully I don't knock anything over while I do this, we can see, oh, dropped out. Um, we can see more of the beautiful artwork by Shannon Beaumont. It's the exact same as it was on the box wonderfully done on the back we've got photos of the figures in question and we've also got information on them uh, you can pause the video and read that if you want okay and then in the plastic I've taken the figures out already but here we can see the types of bases now there's three kinds of well these are technically stands the three there's three types of stands you can use there's this really long one on the top which I didn't showcase last time I'm gonna do it this time there's the ones I used last time, which are these shorter see-through plastic rods, which have the, um, I don't know what you call these, like little standees. Not standees, but these are the parts that actually support the weight of um, the figure. And then here we have, you can just barely make out a little black ball with a stick on it that sticks right into the base and the dinosaur's foot to support it upwards. Support it upwards? Sure, why not? But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first of the two figures, the Buitraraptor. Now, Buitraraptor is a Eugen... Eunenlagin dromaeosaurid theropod dinosaur, it's very hard to say that, that lived in Argentina during the late Cretaceous period about 94 million years ago. Now, this has a very striking color scheme very very different to the other one that you get on its own in the uh, wetlands accessory set in the raptor series but the sculpting on this is amazing wonderful sculpt so if you look at the head get the focus look at that head sculpt beautiful you can just barely make out tiny tiny little teeth uh, the eye looks wonderful, been very nicely seated, looks just like a bird eye, which is what I always like to see. And on the head, we can see we've got a very almost pinkish kind of skin, and then we got, you can just barely make out, uh, we get white just as we reach the tip of the snout where it becomes black. The same on the lower jaw, black at the tip, then white, pink, and then this beautiful <laughs> blood red feathers and then as we go further down the body or oh, actually before we get to the body there is also an articulated jaw I like to have um, the jaw open on this one because it doesn't quite close that nicely so I think it looks nicer with the jaw open we can see the tongue in there as well really nicely done and move down to the body we can see on the top we've got this very light pinkish feathers on the top that the neck is also articulated. I prefer to have it straight on. And when we get to the wings, the tips of the primaries are black and then the rest are red. And the undersides are very interesting in that they are pink. They're almost like a um, white. Very, very cool. The feather detail is amazing. David Silver has done an amazing job sculpting this. Also, we never get a Buitraptor figure, so I was so happy to see these made. Then the claws are white, very nice. Moving down to the legs, one of them doesn't touch the ground. The feet are black with white claws. Very, very cool. And it, it looks it looks very well muscled. The sculpting on the muscles on, on the legs is really nice. And then if we look at this side, same, same thing. Uh, this one is planted on the ground and as you can see the base it's connected with the, the small ball joint that I used 
because that one seems to work the best for the Buitra Raptor. I don't know why that is. That could just be mine. Some people might have mixed success with other ones, or might work perfectly with different ones, who knows. Let me know actually in the comments below what do you use to balance yours if you own these. And the tail is also articulated. Pink on the underside, beautifully sculpted, amazing detail. And then on the top it's red, transitions to pink at the tips. Articulate, you can have it like that, which maybe it's displaying off, because I said this was a probably a male, a very interestingly coloured male. I was a bit mixed on the colour scheme at first, but it's definitely grown on me. As time's gone on, maybe it's injured, could be holding its tail down in distress. I like to hold mine up as if it's running, because Breach Raptor, it was kind of rooster sized, and it wasn't really designed for taking on big animals, it was probably after the smaller things like lizards and stuff like that. Because it had to, it, I, I think it lived alongside like giant Carcharodontosaurids like Giganotosaurus or Mapusaurus, I can't remember which exactly. But yeah, that's some heavy competition, so not competing with them directly was probably a smart idea for this raptor. The base, it's kind of browny mud with uh, got some greenery around it. The bases are nothing to talk about really, they're not that interesting, and I do have a problem with them in that they don't really, they're not heavy enough to fully support the weight of them. That's my main complaint because otherwise these are wonderful. Amazing sculpt, amazing, amazingly well painted, wonderful. Now next up we have the young Stenonichosaurus which I've put on this really long rotted base, or stand I should say. And I'm not going to be able to film it properly if I don't prop my camera up, so I'll do that and be back in a sec. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to very gently move this towards the camera. Now, look at this guy. I love the coloration. It's very naturalistic. Stenonichosaurus is a type of troodontid theropod dinosaur, so it's technically not a raptor in the strictest sense. I know some people consider troodontids to be raptors, but I'm just going to take him off the base. Or her. No, no, I said it to him. Put you over there very gently. I love the coloration. So, living in Dinosaur Park formation during the late Cretaceous, it, it would have probably gotten quite chilly up there. Still very warm, but the winters might have gotten a bit nasty. So I think the white and black muddy colour scheme works perfectly well for this animal. If we look at the head sculpt, you can see the eye again is really nicely done. We've got this very striking yellow on sort of like the muzzle and then the tip is a very light grey. Then we've got black on the top of the head, white on the underneath. Again, the jaw is articulated. Look at the tiny, tiny little teeth. I have to commend them for being able to sculpt because they are absolutely puny pink interior of the mouth, um, got tongue, and like I said, the articulated jaw. I think this one looks a little bit nicer with the jaw closed than the breech raptor, but I still prefer to have them open. Necks articulated as well. Push the wings down so you can see. I love the muddy, muddy coloration going on with the white. I like to think that this has been trudging through a lot of dirt, maybe hunting something down, like Hadrosaur or something like that. Then the wings, again, black and white, underside look really dirty, and it's asymmetrical, which I really like. I love the natural asymmetry. It really does give off the vibe that it's been very, it's been going through a lot of muddy puddles. <laughs> legs as well. This one's off the ground, so if you want to stand it up with the uh, the leg stand, or as in the foot stand that connects directly into the base, you're going to have to do the other foot that you can see the hole plugs into. Again, very mucky legs. Really adds to uh, the, the dynamic. Or it makes it feel a lot more alive, so animals aren't going to be in perfect condition all the time. Beautiful tail fan, muddy underneath. Uh, black at the tips, white, and then transitions with this very 
mottled black articulated you could have it like that or down i like to have mine curled up slightly wonderful wonderful on oh, the feet are yellow as well in case that wasn't in case I didn't say that wonderful and keep in mind this is also a juvenile so the proportions aren't going to be a hundred percent too accurate to what an adult skeleton might look like this was once thought to be troodon itself but yeah troodon bless it has been through a lot of um <laughs> it's been through a lot i um, don't know if it's valid or not recently now if i put it on the base i've had to blue tack it on so just any sticky putty will help it. That's my biggest problem with these figures. The stability is not great. The base, very uh, rocky, very minimal greenery on this one, which I think is fitting for uh, Dinosaur Park. Very naturalistic, I think it's very nice. Now, hopefully, oops. Yeah, he doesn't like to stand. Oops, no, don't stick your leg on. There we go. I think maybe it's leaping onto its prey or something. Then again, it's a young one, so who knows what it's doing. Could change the wings a bit. Make it look a bit more dynamic. There we go. Look at it from the front. Look at that. Very cool. Very awesome indeed. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So let's... I'm going to rejig my set for a second, so I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> okay, let's measure these guys up. We've got the Stenonichosaurus off his uh, base. So he's, he's, I'm kind of leaning him on the Buitraraptor right now. Let's um, measure. So in terms of the length, oops, the Buitraraptor, these are about the same size. These are one sixth scale. So they're going to be roughly the same size. You're looking at about just shy of 16 centimeters in length in terms of the height. Uh, I guess the tail would be the highest point. So I think it could be upwards of 10 centimeters, to be honest, because you can pose it in such diverse ways. And the same goes for the Stenonichosaurus, because they, these are basically the same size. All right, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.